Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Or God gonna put you to death. Hey, you know? Jesus Christ coming back to destroy this whole land. And all y'all brothers that wanna thug, wanna smoke these cigarettes, wanna smoke this dope. Bring it up. You around here with your pants sagging, right. just wanna wear pants. God gonna put you to death when he returns. That's real talk. That's Read it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the it's bread of adversity. So God didn't gave you the bread of adversity. God that gave our people much adversity. You understand? God and destroyed our people. If you believe in Jesus, you should not judge nobody out here on the Okay, I'm glad you said that. Give me John chapter 7, verse 24. You ain't know the Bible. Brother smoke a cigarette will come tell us about the Bible, though. Get the hell out of here, man. You can't tell us about the Bible. We do this, man. Read it. you mean? Read. The book of John chapter 7, verse 24. This is what Jesus said. Bring it out. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. What did Jesus Christ say? Y'all ain't Jesus. Judge righteous Judge, right Jesus, judge, 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 judge,
Why would, if you knew Jesus looked like you, why would you hate your brother? If you knew Jesus looked like you, why would you sell dope to your brother? If you knew Jesus looked like you, why would you pull a piece on your brother? If you knew Jesus looked like you, why would you want to shoot your brother down in the street? Bring it out! That's what we come out here to teach you. Jesus Christ looked like you. Y'all the greatest people on the planet Earth. Give me Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. Y'all brothers, the greatest people on the planet. All y'all brothers. Right. But you don't even know it. Right. You want to fuck up against your brother, we teaching you righteousness. Right. Hey, what's wrong with us coming out here teaching our brothers to stop shooting each other? What's wrong with that? Right. What's wrong with us telling our brothers to stop selling dope? each other. What's wrong with that? Bring it out. What's wrong with us telling our brothers y'all the greatest people God ever created? What's wrong with that? Right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Jeez. Psalms 82 verse 6. Bring, Bring it out. out. Chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said ye are God. The Bible say you gods. Bring it out. You black men and black women. God say you the greatest nation on earth. You black men. God say you gods bro. God say you the greatest people on earth. My brother right here in the green sweatsuit. You a god. But you don't know you a god. You want to be a nigga. Right you want to be a gangbanger. How the fuck you know what I know? You want to be, you want to be a thug. How the fuck you know what I know? Jeez. Because you out of your brother's face right now instead of listening to the word of God. That's how, how I know what you know. know. Read it out. Read. I have said, ye are Look at that. Call me out my name. Call me a nigga. And I'm his brother trying to tell him he a god. I tell Jeez. him he a god. He tell me I'm a nigga. Read What's wrong with that picture? Read it out. Read. Bring it out. You are children of the most high. You children of God. Right. And God waits for you to stand up to be royalty like you was chosen to be. Psalms 82 and 6. The book of Psalms 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. Big bro, big bro. Come here for a second. You over here listen. Come here for a Yeah, you too, sister. Big bro, let's discuss something real quick. Because I had to turn it up to get you to listen. I want you to hear what God said about you. I want to hear what you say about you. Read it again. I have so said, he are God. Let me ask you something, bro. That's man. That's man. Who better than the black man? Nobody. Who run faster than the black man? Nobody. Who's smarter than the black man, black woman? Nobody, bro. Right. We the greatest people on earth, but the Lord allowed us to go in the ghettos because we won't listen to him. Right. That's why the Bible say you a God, my brother. You is a God. All them brothers over there, gods. Jeez. We the rightful rulers of this planet. Bring it out. We supposed to rule this whole entire earth. That's right. We're at the bottom because right. we won't listen to what God say about us. Jeez. That's what we trying to get y'all to do. We trying to get y'all to listen to what God say about us. That's give right. Me. Now give me Psalms fifty one. I mean Isaiah fifty one oh, and twenty. Me, one second, sis. Just one sec. Just one sec. Just one sec. I'm gonna listen to you. We gonna talk. Please. But let me edify the young brothers out here because I'm looking at the what kings of the earth. These the kings on the planet right here, and we trying to show you that. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. The Bible says you are God, but you have fainted. You have lost consciousness of who you are. The brother asked us why we judge him. We showed you what Christ said, judge, righteous judge. He said how we know Christ black. We showed you that Christ black. All your, all your questions we here to answer. Read. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the heads of all the streets. Hey, big bro in the, in the, in the blue jacket. Big brother, blue tech. Come on, let me talk to you. I'm trying to show you how great you are. I'm trying to show you how great you are. Don't call me. I don't want to be called over here. I'm not your God. I don't know you. See that? Look at that. You see that? That's the destruction of the black man in America right there. We came on the same slave ship, but now we're not brothers. We serve the same conditions, but yet we're not brothers. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, Greatest people on earth. I'm smoking cigarettes. Help me, nigga. Let me help you. Help me. I got you. I'm young. I'm doing the right way. Y'all out here talking. Help me. I got you. Here we go. He gonna help. He gonna help. That can't help me. It can't help you. That can't help no. It can't help you apply. Nigga, I've been listening to my mama all my life. That ain't help me. I know, cause your mama not teach you the whole thing. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all doing all this holiday. My brother right here. You got some. You got some wisdom. Just listen to me real quick. We should. He said he wants to help him, right? We here to help. But you look at us, it's your enemy, you're not your enemy. We just told you it was God. You just heard what this man said. You just heard what this man said. You just heard what this man said. You talking about what God did. You talking about what God did. Bring it out. We never said you weren't righteous. We never said that. We said our people. We said our people. Let me ask you a question. 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 Did I not say you was a God on earth? 
You heard me say that. Right. Your Bible say you guys, bro. Right. That's what we're trying to show you. We're not here against you. Right. What we're trying to show our brothers is this right here. Watch this. First Corinthians 10, 15. Just listen in real quick. The book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. God said when you rolling in the spirit, when your mind is spiritual, you judge it all things. Because you can see clearly what's going on on Right? Can we ask this? Right. He, he himself is judge of no man. So the Bible says, look, when you rolling in the spirit, when you spiritual, when you see my brother's God, I mean, this is my brother. He said he's 21 years old. I was where he at. You understand? I've been with y'all, brother. Hey. Said I done it. Hey. Everything. Hey. Listen, hey. listen, bro. Just hey. calm down. You got too much fire in you. Just calm down. Hey. 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 I want you to hey. 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 let me show you this. God tell you me, righteous. you brothers, y'all royals. Right. Right. You mentioned about righteousness. I'm going to show you what righteous in the same way. Say that real quick. No, we made righteous real quick. Go to Matthew, bro. We're going to go to Matthew. Go to Matthew. We're going to go to Matthew. Luke 1, 6 real quick. We're going to go to Matthew for my brother right here. I'm going to show you something about Matthew. Let me show you how great you are, bro. Read. That's all we're going to do is show you how great you are. What did you say in Matthew? Read. Matthew 1, verse 6. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. See that? That's what makes us righteous. When we walk before God blameless. He, he know hey, what about that if I'm around his wife, I ain't going to sleep with him. That's right. righteous. Right. He Free know up. that I ain't going to never put nothing in his system that's going to mess his system up. Right. right? He know I ain't going to kill him. Right. He know I ain't going to rape his child. Right. That's righteousness. Right. When we apply the commandments. That's all we're teaching you. Let me show you just one small commandment that God tells us to do. Uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 and 5. Right? Leviticus 21 and 5. Let me show you how God tells his men to roll. Because we were made in God's image, right? Watch this. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make promises upon their heads. So God said, a righteous man, we ain't supposed to cut our beautiful natural hair. I have natural. Look at the way. This brother got waves, that brother got waves, this brother got an afro, that brother got braids, this brother got dreads, we got the greatest hair on earth. Right? So God said, don't shave your head unless you're just going bald already. Right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. God said, the righteous black man on the earth, the king that you are, if you can grow a beard, don't shave it. Go to shave it while we shave it. The white man told us that green shaving was the way. God said, no, you look like God. Did you know you look like God? Yeah. Let me show you that real quick. We we got image, right? Right, right. But the black man is in God's image, not every man. We're talking about you in his image. He told you to be different. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we out here to show you. The what we have become, I say we, because we all done it. Let me say it real quick. Titus 3 and 3. We all did this. That's why I said when we come out here to see touch our brothers, we're not judging, because judgment is when you hurt somebody for what they're doing. We are. I ain't trying to put my hands on Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. When you go to the white man courthouse, right? And you do a crime. And he judge you. What he do when he judge? He throw you in. That's not what we're doing. We come out here to correct you before you go out. Oh, no, I didn't. I said our brothers in the community they are involved in games. Right? I didn't say you was. They say you well, you said the Bible said so we can't smack right. right. you. Watch this, you right The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. If, no. I, say, no. if I say I'm talking to all the Chinese folks out here, and I look at you, tell me you Chinese. Oh, so my, son, my brother's in gang, you so I look at your area, they don't even call it your gang, man. Just sit we sticking in the gym so all my people we can, we can hear. Can hear. Now watch this real quick. Read. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. Watch For we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Right. I used to be in gang. Bring it out up. I used to be buying weed from the west side. Bring it out. I used to roll guns on people in Marine. Right. I did all that. There ain't nothing that you done or doing that I didn't do. The Bible said we all was one time in this condition we in. Watch this. Read. Disobedient. We was disobedient to God too. Right. We're not getting on you just because you made you y'all brothers don't know. That's why we here to teach you. We right. was the same place y'all at. Know. Watch this, Reed. You know Deceived. Reed. Serving Good. diverse lust. Guess what? Diverse lust. Let me say that. If a big booty woman walked through here right now, most of the men right here gonna turn their head yeah, and look at that behind. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. But when you learn, but when you learn, that's right, that's right. But when you learn, he out, he out. When you learn truth though. You understand that that's your sister. She don't know that she ain't supposed to dress like that. We can't lust after her. Because what going to end up happening? We're going to want that no. We're going to smash. And when she have a baby, we might leave her. And that mess up the community. So God tell us all of us was following that at one time, bro. Serving diverse lust and pleasures. 
Nigga, Malice said hit me. You see that? Malice and Evie, that's what's going on in Jackson. That's a lot of murder going on in Jackson. That's a lot of hate. Hello? Right? So God said, that's why we're here, sis, to correct our people to show them not to do that anymore. You understand? That's right. That's right. So what's going to change? That's right. That's right. I said they know the truth. And it's affecting us. Y'all know the truth. Because we know it's affecting the most. Right? So that's why we got to come to the people that it's affecting the most. Gang, drug dealing affects us worse than anybody. Because they put it in our community so we'll sell it to each other because we oppress, we empower. We need money. We trying to but get money. Right I need now. to take care of my family. So, you so if you put the dope in my neighborhood, I'm probably going to sell it to take care of my family. Right. But God say, what's so a better way to act? God, tell us why we in oppression. God, tell us why the white man got his foot on our neck. You know why all this stuff happened to us? Real quick, you run me 2815. See, I got you now glad you listening, but I had to stir it up to get my brother listen, because a lot of brothers weren't listening until we started getting right. right. So now we got the brothers over here, now we'll break it down real quick. It'll take two minutes. Watch this, you run me 2815. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you know the story of Moses, right? When Moses brought the Israelites out of Egypt, he had all 12 tribes. And he was in front of them, standing, standing on the mountains in front of them talking. And he said, Look, all the Israelites, if you keep God's commandments, you will be blessed. You'll be above everybody. But if you break God's commandments, watch this, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, look, if the black man, Hispanic and Native Indian, the ones he called the Israelites, if you break God's commandment, curses gonna come on you in the future. Not right now. When he was talking, he was talking about in the future. Something bad gonna happen to God's people. Let me show you how I know me and you God's people. Watch verse 16. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. You said there's a lot of evil going on in our communities in Jackson. And you may not be the one doing it. But since you're in the environment, you gotta roll with a strap. Because you gotta protect yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Because there's so much evil around you. That's some curse, bro. Because when you go to Brandon, it ain't like that. When you go to Madison, it ain't like that. We the only people got curses around us in our community. Potholes in our street. It's a titty on my damn tire right now from pulling through the potholes in Jackson. I gotta get a new tire every other week. Why don't fix our roads? You know what? Go ahead. Right. That's right. You're right. It's about the money with the white man. That's, that's you right. you exactly right. And guess what? God told us by our disobedience it would happen to us. Those curses would fit us. We will be cursed in the city. Watch this too. Watch this. Read. A curse shall thou be in the field. Hey, hold this up for me, big bro. Watch this. So God said, look, for his opinions, we wouldn't be, we'd be cursed in the city. But guess where else we're going to be cursed there, bro? In the field. Right. That's right. They took us That's and put us in cotton fields and forced us to be slaves. Right. Forced us to pick cotton to make America rich. Now you got to pay for a cotton shirt. That shirt probably cotton. You got to pay for that when your forefathers picked it for free to make this place great. That's right. why the white man say stuff like, I got old money. Yeah. Where that old money come from? You picking cotton. That's Me right. picking cotton. The Bible told us that would be a curse from God for being so big because we his kids. And we don't do what he said. Watch 32. Watch this. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So God said, look, in slavery, they will sell our sons and daughters to the biggest, the highest builder. You know how you go downtown and you see all the white folks outside at downtown every Thursday uh, auctioning for houses? God said they used to auction us. Yeah, they put you, your wife, and your son up there. Sell you to uh, uh, Brandon. Sell your wife to Georgia. And sell your son to Louisiana and separate your family. Right. Now we wonder why the black man is hard for him to take care of his kids now. Because psychologically, we messed up because they took our kids in slavery. Right. Right. That's what we out here to show our people. Right. The Bible said that would happen for us being disobedient to God. Now look, a white man standing on the thing saying 25, 35, 45 sold this big buck to Alaska. So this book, big book right here to George. That happened to me and you. God said that would happen to his chosen people, the Israelites. So what that make me and you? The Israelites. We're not African American. That's what we out here to show you. The reason we live the way we live, because we don't know we the people of God. And as long as we sit against him, we're going to stay in curses. That's why we got to come out here and tell you come out of sin. So the curses will come up off of you so we can go home, so we can rule this place. We're supposed to rule this place. Ain't no, ain't no white man you're supposed to have to bow down to. Ain't no white man you're supposed to have to call sir. Ain't no a rap man, you have to go have to ask him for a blunt. Ask him for a cigarillo. You understand? We supposed to be the greatest people on earth. We supposed to be the ones ruling this thing. But we don't because God brought us from the Lord when you're disobedient. We still on the corners being disobedient. And now God see your brothers that look just like you to come out here and show you to stop being disobedient. That's all he Watch this. Get ready. And our eyes shall look 
and fail with longing for them all the day long. You ever did a bid? Nah, okay, nah, you, you got freedom. I'm a, I'm a, I love my freedom too. That's much. great. That's great. You got brothers, you got homeboys that done bids, right? Right. Remember how they mama looked when they saw them taking her back? When they saw when she saw them taking her son away, how she looked? She had the friends destroyed. Yeah, messed up. How you think our par parents looked on the auction block when they saw your son go out that door and you still on the auction block? You don't know where he's going. You never see him again. Same way. God telling you the curse is still on the black man right now. You see? Read. And there shall be no might. In thine head. How many of us got a hundred thousand dollars to put a retainer on our sons for a lawyer? Yeah, no, no, no. None of us. We barely we got money to put on our brothers' books. Dude. We are destroyed, what? cursed people. God said we he, he don't want to curse us, but we keep not listening. Right. So if you got kids, you got kids. Yeah, One day you're gonna have kids. When they get out of line, just like your mama did you, you're gonna spank them. Because right. you love them. Not because you hate them. God love us, but he punishing us because we won't do nothing. We won't do right. Right. We keep sinning. And that's why we gotta tell you to come out of sin so God won't keep punishing us. Right. That's all it is, Jeez. right? The brother got emotional. He got mad, but it was only just to stir y'all up so y'all will come and listen. Now I got you yeah, listening. Yeah, now you yeah. learning stuff that you ain't never yeah, heard. I was before I even came. All I praise, all oh, praise, oh, all oh, praise. Oh, you got a humble oh, spirit, bro. Oh, yeah. God calling you right now, bro. He calling you. These streets ain't nothing out here for you. But God, He got something different for you. He calling you to be a prince, a power, a king. You know what your name mean? Let me up. Uh, give me Genesis 32, 28 real quick. Read it up. Because, yeah, drop that. Because no, African American, that don't mean nothing. That's two white men. Let's skip your Africanus. He, he, he conquered Africa and changed it after himself. America best beauty, he conquered America and named it after himself. There's no power in those names. There's two different white men names. That's why they call you African American. But it's power in your name that God gave you. Watch this. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So he said he wasn't going to call our forefather Jacob no more. Read. Right. But Israel, for as a prince has thou power with God. What's his name mean? For as a prince thou has power with God. You got power with God. That's right. All my brothers out here got power with God. Right. You know, we think too small of ourselves. We don't know that our name mean a prince that has power with God. You know why we buck up against one another. That's why we want to fight one another. We don't look and say, well, this dude right here, God. This dude right here, God. You understand? We don't look at each other like that. Now that's why God said we got to come back to who we are. Right. This is the great awakening on the planet Earth. Bro. I know you just see about 10, 12 of us out here. It's a movement going on on the planet Earth. Right. We opening up churches all over the world right. to restore right. our people. I just got back from Africa teaching the same thing I'm teaching you right now. I was teaching my brothers in the ghettos in Africa because it's a hood in Africa look just like this. Right. 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 Now how the hell the hood in Africa look just like Jackson? Right. Because God's curse is on our people throughout the world for disobedience. That's, that's, right. that's why God says, repent. Come back to me. I'm going to restore you back to where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be in the rulership seat of this earth. Now, go back to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Let me show you this real quick. Verse 48, verse 68. That's why I got to show you who you are. So then when you see who you are, your mind open up. You say, oh, damn. That's why we in the ghetto. That's why we up in jail. I was wondering what it was. You know the white man hate us. Why he hate us so much? Because you're a prince that got power with God. That's why he changed your name. What, That's why he call you color, cool, black, nigga, African American. Why he call you that? Because your real name is too powerful for him. Right. That's what we got to show you. Your real name got power. You got that? Yes, sir. Uh, 48? Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Watch what God say, bro. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. God didn't say friends. God said in slavery, we were going to serve our enemies. Hold that for me, bro. He said in slavery, we were going to serve our enemies. Bro, right. watch this, watch this. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Flip it over for me. How did the white man know to come to the west coast of Africa to get us from Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Senegal? How he know that? Why he didn't go over here and get nobody? Bring it out. The Chinese man is smaller than us, right? Dude. Why he didn't go up to uh, Asia and get him? Why he come to the west coast of Africa and get the biggest, strongest, best looking, uh, smartest people on the planet? Why? Because God sent them there. Because right. God already knew we was being disobedient. He said, you know what? Send the white man to Africa, to the west coast. They hide on the west coast. We was hiding down there. God said they can't hide no more. I know where they at. Jeez. Send the white man against us because God in heaven, that's our father. And we're disobedient, right. so he sent our enemies against us. Read. Right. In hunger. So guess what? When we want to eat, what we got to do? Because we don't own none of these stores. Right. So when we eat, we got to go to him. We don't know what right. he put in our chicken. Right. We got to go to KFC. We don't know what they put in our chicken. Right. right. We got to go to the white man. We got to go to Sam's Club, Walmart. We don't know what they're doing to us. We don't know what kind of food they're feeding us. Right. right? We got to go to Food Depot. Food Depot ain't owned right. by no black man. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the Bible telling us, since we were disobedient to God, flip it back over for me. We got to go to our enemies for food. Watch this. Read. 
and in thirst. And when we thirsty, Aquafina, the Sonic, right? Right. Gatorade, Coca-Cola. We don't own that. He own all that. Right. Even right. a little taste. Because you might you might want to get a little drink. It ain't no sin to drink, bro. Right. We drink all the time. In moderation, we don't get blasted. Right. But we drink, right? right. We enjoy ourselves. We right. still black. We have a good time. We just turned up last night. It's a feast they going on right now. When our forefather Mordecai and our foremother Esther, they saved us from the white man named Haman in the book of Esther. We yeah. celebrating that right now. We just gave our kids gifts last night. So why we need Christmas and God gave us holidays to celebrate. Right. Yeah. Bring it out. Yeah. That's what we doing right now. We just got done turning up last night. Did we turn up? Right. In righteousness. That's right. Because you know how people want to go to the club because they want to be free. We got parties uh, that the Lord got set up for us every damn, every damn week. The Sabbath day is a party. Jeez. We right. rest and then we enjoy the Lord's feast. That's right. right. So we got God black, bro. It's That's seven, right. He got 72 holidays in the Bible. That's that we right. supposed to be keeping. But we only worry about the white man's Christmas. Bring it out. Thanksgiving, right. which is the Jeez. murder of our brothers. Right? Right? Keep reading. And in nakedness. Like I told you earlier, we picked cotton, now we got to pay for cotton. All right. our shirts made of cotton, most of us. Right. But we the one that picked the cotton to make this place great. Right. Read. Read. And it was of all things. And all things. Birth certificate. Death certificate. Here it is, bro. Your baby born, right? You looking at a baby. The white man said, no, he ain't no baby. And so out until I sign his birth certificate. Right. That's a curse, bro. Right. I'm sitting here looking at my child born, but the white man said that ain't truly a child until I sign his birth certificate. Right. That's a curse. Your mama or grandmama, auntie, uncle, God forbid, if they were to die, you can't get his insurance until you do what? Take the death certificate to the Lord. That's a curse. You see what I'm saying? God telling us we cursed for being disobedient. Now he wants us to return. Watch this, read. And he look the enemy. Look at the enemy right here. It said the enemy what shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Who had yokes of iron on their neck? We did. We did. God said our enemy was gonna put yokes of iron on our neck till he had destroyed thee. Now physically, do we have them on our neck now? Nope. So that means we destroyed. Now we call ourselves African American when your name really means a prince that has power with God. Your name right. really is Israel. Right. That's right. And they said, "Now nah, you African American. You a Johnson. Where that name come from, Johnson? Slave master. What's your name?" Gibson? Gibson, right? What's your name, big bro? Oh, oh, where that name come from? White man. Right, our slave master. That's right. right. They owned our granddaddy and named him that. Really? His name. So we still holding the names of our slave master. God trying to break us from that. We changing our names. Our brother's name is Israel. His brother's last name is Israel. You show you his ID, his name is Israel now. Right. He changed it from his slave name. You know why? Because God calling us in the last days. It's like he calling you, big bro. That's right. 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 That's why we telling our people come out of sin. Why this happened to us? Because we did what? We said it. We said it. We God's right. laws, bro. That's what we out here to teach. So when we come out here to tell you stop breaking God's law, we're not judging because we ain't judged. God is the judge. Right. He the right. one that bring the hammer down. Right. We right. can't bring the hammer down. Right. Warn you. Right. That's all. We just right. trying to warn our brothers. It's destruction coming, bro. We're trying to stop y'all from getting caught up in this fire. We're trying to stop ourselves coming to this fire. Watch this. First Corinthians 4 and 4. Let me show you what we out here to do real quick. Bring it out. So you know now you an Israelite. All these curses happen to the Israelites. They happen to you. You an Israelite, bro. You from the tribe of Judah, bro. You a mighty man. This brother right here, this a mighty man right here. Jeez. That's what we got here. So y'all mighty men. Y'all not just know what they call you, what the world call you. Y'all mighty. The Bible say you come from Judah. You know what Judah mean? God's praise. That's right. God say you his praise. Why you think that so-called African-American LeBron James a monster? Dude's hanging on his shoulders. He's still dunking. You say, damn, he's so great. Right. Michael Jackson created the moon walking like he like he walking on air. Right. You say, how he's so great? Right. Because God said you his praise. That's, That's right. why they changed your name. Because you his praise. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 4 and verse 14. Watch this. I write not these things to shame you. So we're not out here to shame y'all brothers. Read. But as my beloved sons, I warn you. We just here to warn you. We just here to stop you from the things that's coming to this place, bro. Right. right. It's destruction coming here. God ain't happy with America. Right. Right. God gonna judge America. He gonna judge that's that true. place. Cause look at all the evil they done did to us. You think God gonna let all this go down and he ain't gonna have he ain't gonna handle that? God a black man, he gonna handle that just like me and you. Somebody uh, beat up our daughter, beat up our sister, and hey, we gotta go handle it. That's right. right. They done beat up God's t kids and killed them and murdered them and burned them alive and hung us from trees and sold us into slavery. Right. God gotta handle that. That's right. But when God handled that. He gonna handle our people that don't repent either, right? So when he come to handle them, he gonna handle us too, if we ain't right. Right. That's why we show you how to be right. Remember we showed you earlier, righteousness where you keep the commandments. Right. That's, That's all right. we're here to do. Say, don't say your beard. Let that thing grow. Be a God on this earth. Right. Cause God say so. Right. I'm tatted. <laughs> 
What you mean? I'm tatted, I play ball, I got sleeves. You understand? Know but God said, don't do it no more. I'm done getting no more. I ain't getting no more tats. Right. I got yeah. all my tats. God said, don't do it no more. Why? Because we righteous. We don't mark up our body. God's right. body is a sacred God temple. God damn temple. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's what I'm saying, bro. I yeah. know you feel me. Yeah. I know I've been out here. I done left this motherfucker. You feel me? Came back to the same thing, bro. Right. I hate being here. This right. my city. I love it. Right. But I see evil every day, bro. And I know right. that shit. You know, I try to help. You feel me? Right, right. But sometimes you can't help everybody that ain't right. trying to help themselves. That's, right. That's right. That's so, right. So, so imagine we all had billions of dollars and we came and built up this community. Right. And we made it look real good, make the streets go. Right. But our brother's mind ain't right. Right. They're gonna tear right back down. Right. Your mind ain't right. It don't matter about money. Economics can't help black people. Right. Our mindset gonna help us. Cause right. if I don't sleep with his wife, guess what? Ain't no STDs. Right. right. If I got my own wife and I only stay with her, ain't no HIV. Ain't right. no baby daddy, baby mama drunk. Right. Right. We can destroy all this that's going on in our community by applying God's commandments. Hey, that's you know. what we out here to show you. God's commandments is the way. That's the hint. Nobody told him, brother. He said he want rehab. Uh, yes. It's the rehab. God's commandments. Right. You understand? Watch this. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. What you said earlier is on point. Watch this. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You the temple of God. Read. Right. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God's Spirit in us. Right. That's why we the Israelites. That's right. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So God said, we smoke with cigarette blunts, crack cocaine, okay, weed, whatever we're doing, we're killing ourselves. Right. God right. will destroy us with diseases. That's why we get lung cancer, throat cancer, right. high blood pressure, diabetes, because we, we eat and put things in our body that God don't want us to be holding. Right. God wants us to be holding. That's all we got here to tell. So what's wrong with us trying to stop our brothers from dying? I ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing at all wrong with that. That's all we got here to Because, like, instance, the brother was talking about, we say this Jesus. We don't say this Jesus. We just say that this is a better depiction of Jesus because Jesus is a black man. Right. But what we have seen all our life. White Jesus. So that's why our brothers in Africa right now, when there's nothing but black people around them, they scared of white people. Why you say, well, brother, ain't nothing but black people here? Why you scared of them? They don't even live here. You know why? Because they see that picture. So they say, oh, that's God. Oh, that's God. Oh, he a nigga though. Bye. Just like in the just like in the season, Jackson. Oh, you a nigga? Bye. White man come on. Oh, yes, some master. Yes, some master. Yo. We bow down to them. So we got to show you, no, I ain't black. Yo, God, black. Right. He look like you and I. It's time for us to repent, come back to him. So when we tell you to stop smoking cigarettes, that's what God say. Right. I know, I know, listen, I know why we smoke, bro. We smoke because we stretch. Right. We stress, we want a little fix. Right. To try to get us over our stress. But God telling us how to get over our stress. Right. Learn who you are. When you learn who you are, you're not as stressed out because you know why these things are happening. Right. You know how to get out of these things. So this should be your next question. How we get out of the curses? Well, I'm going to go to the Bible. I'm going to go to God. Right. I know where to go. You feel me? I know where to go. I know drugs right. ain't always the answer. You feel me? I know right. the best answer is God. You feel me? That's right. Just That's right. Saying. You That's right. My mama, my mama was a righteous woman. My mama was a God given woman. Right, right. You feel me? And I go right. through it every day. She. Talk to me about God right. every day. I got to hear right. it every day. You feel me? Right. So I know what y'all doing, but right. I, I respect y'all for what right. y'all doing. You bro, we trying to get you to come over here so you can teach the hood what you know. Right. right. We trying to get you to come on this side with the purple so you can teach the brothers out here. But so they see you, they say, hey, bro, you used to be out here with us. Right. Nah, bro. I learned who I am now. Yeah. Right. My mind changed. Yeah. You ever seen Malcolm X? Yeah. The movie Malcolm X? Yep. You remember when, when uh, what was his name? What was his homeboy name? Shorty? Yeah, uh, Spike Lee's homeboy was Shorty. He like, hey, man, let's go around the corner. He like, nah, bro, I've been sober eight years. Shorty couldn't believe it. He like, yo, this ain't, come on, bro. You ain't changed like that. He like, yeah, I done changed them. Right. He couldn't yeah. believe it. That's what we trying to get you to do, trying to change your mind. Yeah. Let me show you how to get ourselves out of slavery. First Kings 8, 46. The book of First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So we all sin. We ain't out here like we don't sin. Right. Or we ain't broke no laws. We not out here trying to say we perfect because we know we ain't. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? When a big booty woman passed by, I be having that urge to look. I had to catch myself like, damn, hold up. You see what I'm saying? But at one time, I was like, hey, Charlotte, hey, 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 look at that noise, Charlotte. Hey. You see what I'm saying? But when I learned the truth, it's like, okay, now I got to reject that thought. Right. Because that's yes. my sister. Right. You see what I'm saying? And she probably got a man. Right. Now my brother mad. He ready to put me to death. Because you know how a man is about his girl. Right. He find out you with his girl. He ain't, ain't no, the Bible say ain't no ransom. He putting you to death. He going to shoot you. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's in the Bible. The Bible say that. So it's like, okay, now I got to learn to control myself according to what God said. Right. So we all we all sin, but we all have sin. Right. Some of us going to still sin, but we trying to come out of our sin. That's the goal. When you're trying to get out of it and you're trying to apply the words, that's when God deal with you. When you just lay in it, it's like, I'm just saying it is what it is. Go on fire up, bro. It is what it is. That's when God said he can't deal with you because you willfully do it. Watch this, read. For there is no man that sinneth not. 
and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. So when God got angry with us, did he allow our enemies to carry us captive in the land far away? No. Yeah, he took us yeah. from Africa, right? How do we get here from Africa? A boat. Wow. Bring it you know out. It was, yeah. You knew that? Okay, do around the 26th day real quick. Oh, you Bring it out. That's the last curse that we always got to show our people to make it concrete. So when you walk away from them, you're like, man, I ain't African American. I'm an Israelite. I know for a fact I'm an Israelite. This is how we know. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God's going to bring us back into slavery, but this time he's going to do it on what? Ships. ships. Right? That's the Bible, bro. They have, this was written two, 3,000 years before it actually happened. Bring it up. Showing that everything in this book is true. We just been taught it wrong by our slave masters. Right, right, but the truth right. of it showing us that we ain't African American. There ain't no African American. Wrong. I mean, ain't no uh, uh, the Israelites went in slavery on slave ship. It didn't say African American. It said Israelites. Right. So guess who we are? Israel. We the Israelites. Yes, that's, right. that's right. Read it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We ain't seen our homeland as a nation since we've been here. Read. And there, and we got all the slave ships. Read. Ye shall be sold. Hold on, what that Bible say? Ye shall be sold. We got all the slave ships. What happened to it, bro? We got sold. Woo! Woo! It's in the Bible, bro. We got the we got the stamps. We got the actual posters from the 18, 16, 1700. It say to be sold. A cargo of 94 prime healthy what? Negro. Negro. They changed our name, called us Negro. Read yeah. the Bible said the Israelites were gonna be the ones that were sold on slave ships. Look how we were packed down on top of one another, boo booing on each other. The woman got a menstrual cycle. She bleeding on her brothers and sisters. Right. A woman have a baby. You think she got the proper care on the bottom of the boat? Nope. Hell no. If she died, it just threw her over. That's why this area right here called a what? Middle Passage. And guess what? The sharks still swimming there to this day. Why? Because they were eating on so many. They were eating on millions of us. They said what? Uh, 200 million of us came in slavery, right? But like 50 or 60 million of us died on the way. No care for us. Just throw us overboard to be ate by sharks. Right. Then, 2020, they, they teach us not to love each other, so now we're still among sharks, ready to devour each other. We smell blood. We know when a Negro ain't from our hood. You know what I'm saying? We know when it's the, oh, look at that, what color he got on. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like a shark in the water. The same thing they did to us then, they messed our mind up, so now we do it to each other. Right. But the Bible say what? Read it again. And there? And there, around from ye, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. No, the white man, your friend. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So why we vote? Our enemies run the system. Even right. if it's a black face, the enemy own the system. Right. And, and you want to know something? I, I see that every day. I know right. that too, you feel me? Right. At the end of the day, the white men know who they want in the office. Yes. 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 Right. Right. That we yes. got no, no power over. Our vote don't mean shit about it. It don't that. mean nothing, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hey, bro, you in the spirit, bro. Yeah. My brother right here, man. You I exactly right, right bro. Yeah. You exactly right. Our vote don't mean nothing. It's just a, a, a game to play with our mind and make right. us think we right. actually inflicting change. Yes. Right. But we ain't inflicting no change. Because right. God said we were sold our enemies. If I sell you to your enemy, is your enemy ever going to have any goodwill for you? Oh, no. Hell no, he your enemy. Right. I'm going to keep you down. I'm going to keep you destroyed. Right. That's why they give our sisters weak. That's why they give our sisters food stamps. So she'll say the black man ain't nothing. He can't take care of right. me. My master take care of me. Right. That's right. The white That's man real. take care of me. That's, real. That's what he say. That's why the Bible said we got to go to them for everything. Can read? And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No black man was able to pull up with a hundred million dollars to save us. Right. No black man came up to, was able to come and save us from our conditions. Right. So the Bible's showing us straight here. Why these things happen, big bro? It's because we wouldn't keep the command. I'll pray to them. My brother's smart. My brother said Babylon 10 bucks too. You right? You right? Go, to, uh, go back to 1 Kings 8, 46. Watch this. <laughs> the book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. And if they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So we sin, right? Right. And God got mad with us. Right. He sent us over here. Right. right? Read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives Free. unto the land of the enemy what? far or near. So they took us far away to the America Street. Yet, if they shall be beat themselves. God said, I got some for you. You can drop that. God said, I got some for them, though. Yet, if they be think themselves. You know what bethink me? Remember. God said, you got to remember now. I ain't African-American. I remember who I am. I'm an Israelite. That's, That's right. when we come out here and show our brothers. Remember who you are. Right. You seen Lion King? 
You remember when Simba was out there in the wild with uh, Timon and Pumbaa? He started acting like a damn uh, uh, rodent oh, okay. and a hog. Yeah, yeah. But he was the actual king. Yeah. Now we amongst hogs. We the actual kings. Yeah. So when, remember when Mufasa showed up, he said, remember who you are. That's the only thing he told Simba. Simba had to think like, damn, I'm the king. That's right. That's what we trying to show y'all. You the king. That's right. You the king, bro. That's this earth is yours. Right. Christ going to be our king. That's why the Bible say Jesus Christ is the king of kings. That's right. He's the ultimate king. And all my mighty men, I hear these brothers under my voice. Y'all the kings up under him. That's right. Ready to rule the planet. Watch this. Read Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, God said, yeah, I put them in slavery. But guess what? If they remember who they are in the last days, read. In the land whither they were carried captives, read. and repent. And do what? And repent. And the Bible says all they got to do is remember who they are and repent. That's repent. Right. That's it. Watch this. Read. And make supplication unto thee. Supplication is when, like, you go, you know how you did something to your mama when you was young? You know you hurt them. Like, your right. mama was hurt. So you went and talked to them. You're like, mom. I fucked up. Excuse my language. I, I messed up, Mom. I, I, I messed up. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, please. Right? Same thing God saying. God saying, yo, remember who you are, repent, and make supplication to me. Just say you sorry to me and watch how things change for you. Watch how your mind start to change. Watch how your community start to change. That's Just right. by us submitting ourselves back to the Father. Read That's it up. It. Read. Read it up. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them away captive. In America. Saying. We have sinned. That's all God's saying. Tell them you sin. Read. And we have done perversely. Read. We have committed wickedness. Watch what it say though. Watch this. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. Read. In the land of the, in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land. So when you pray, how you pray? You know, my knees not break. Right, right. The Bible said we're supposed to hold our hands towards God so we can receive. You can't receive your blessing like this. God said open your hands up when you pray. Right. That's, that's how you right. receive your blessing. And pray towards your land. That's Jerusalem. Right. So you got a phone, right? When you pray at night, take your hat off because you don't pray. You ain't supposed to pray with your hat on, right? right? You take your hat off. Oh, you're not supposed to listen to the Bible with your hat on. I was going to show you that later. Can you mind take your hat off real quick and hear the Bible? I'll praise big bro. I'll praise the most. I'll clap it up for my brother. The brother humble, bro. So when we pray to God, we take our hat off. We face our land with our hands open and we pray to the Lord. That's how we receive our blessing. In right. slavery, we prayed like this because we had chains on. Right. We couldn't open our hands, so we did like this. Now God said, you ain't in shackles on your mind no more. Open your hands up and pray so you can receive your blessing. That's and right. pray towards Jerusalem. So pull your phone out, get your compass, wherever the east is in your bedroom, face the east and pray that way. That's how God will hear you. Watch this. Read and so return it to thee with all their heart and with all their soul. All your mind got to be back on the God, the words of God. Read. In the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Watch this. Then hear, thy, hear thou their prayer. He said, then God going to hear your prayers. Because we think God hearing our prayers. But did you know that Satan answer prayers? Yeah. The devil got worshipers too. People don't realize when they worship the devil when they worship God. God said he hear your prayers when you repent. Remember you in Israel like you doing now. You took your hat off. That's already repenting, bro. We told you, we showed, we showed you the Bible where it say take your hat off when you listen to the word of God. You took it off. You already repenting. That's right. You understand? You already repenting, big bro. The Bible's telling you you already straight. You getting there. Now you got to continue to take steps. Right. As you continue to take steps, bro, your whole life going to change. Right. Your outlook on life going to change. Right. You're going to even, some of your own, even some of your homeboys, they ain't going to agree with you. Right. And it's going to be a disconnect. You're going to be like, well, I can't, I can't be around you because I'm trying to get right with God. And you still trying to pull me into the abyss. That's what we all was. He had homeboys. You had homeboys. We all had homeboys. You had homeboys. I met some of your boys. We had boys in the world, in the streets. Right. When we started teaching righteousness, they were like, man, I ain't feeling that. I gotta hit my blunt, bro. I ain't feeling that. Dude. Shave my beard? Nah, bro. <laughs> I gotta shave my beard. I'm gonna do that anyway. I got to. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna say, you can't do that, bro. And you're gonna start to wanna come around people that believe what you believe. Right. right. And ain't nothing wrong with that. That's how you learn your brothers. Look, I'd have never met, I was playing ball overseas, bro. I was making money. I would have never known about this, bro. I was just my brother. I'd have never met this brother if the Lord had woke me up. Right up. All my brothers right here, I wouldn't have known. All my homeboys is basketball players. Most of the brothers, you probably know, you probably know most of the brothers right here. Monte, all them. There was my boys growing up because we played ball together. 
But now I'm around brothers that used to be in gangs like me, used to sell drugs, used to be in the pen. This brother right here did a pen, been in the pen a couple times. Now got him on, now God got him on the corner teaching the Bible. Look at that. Look how God can change us. It's just the word of God. That's all it is, bro. That's what we out here for. You want to say something else? You want to say something? I just want to say something. Watch this real quick. Um, so God said we got to keep the commandments, right? Right. How we get to heaven? Bring it out. Yeah. <laughs> good, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. All right. So let me show you how to get to heaven real quick. Uh, Matthew 19, 16. Bring it out. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one, one came and said on the hill, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So Christ was teaching his, he was teaching the disciples, and a young boy came, a little young dude, probably like, you know, what about, about 16, 17, little young man. He came up and said, Hey, what can I do to get to heaven? That's what Christ said. Read. And he said unto him. Now remember, this is a black man. So think about a black man, big, strong black man with all black kids around him. And one little black kid come up to him and say, How I get to heaven? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one, that is God. So Christ gave the praise to his father. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. He said, You want to get the kingdom of heaven, young man? Read. Keep the commandments. What did he say? Keep the commandments. Right. Right. That's right. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. So why would we come to teach you the commandments? Our people think it's hate. It ain't hate. It's not judging. We come to tell you keep the commandments so you can get to heaven. That's the pastor of the church tell you the commandments done away with. Guess what? He's trying to shut the kingdom of heaven up. Right. Right. He's right. not trying to get you the kingdom of heaven. Right. He's trying to get you to line his pocket right, right. now. Right. That's right. We ain't asking for more money. If you come to our congregation, we ain't asking for no money. We gonna, we got, hey, look, we gonna take care of bills. Right. If you want to give something, that's fine. But we're not begging you to take give me 10% of your money, your hard-earned money. We're not asking you for that. We come out here to get our brothers right so you can come be the king you're supposed to be. Right. Because the brothers that you're looking at right now, these are gonna be the next rule on the planet. And I pray to God it's you too. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.